Yes, what's happening, people? Welcome to Chat with El Mundo. Um, first, let's get into a few things on the little quick video list. So uh, I'm just going to get straight to the point. Um, first, lad, we've got to take the guy that's off to old Deco. He's pulled out, well, he's saying he's got the paperwork. We're yet to see yet. Which I said from the beginning, everyone jumping on the bandwagon without any proof. We needed to wait to see what the actual fucking outcome was. We all know he's got a sexual assault on his thing. Um, so I told you from, from day one, if you thought it was a nonce off him having a sexual assault, then fucking hell, you know what I mean? Don't watch his channel. If you're giving him the benefit of the doubt, then watch his channel. Stop fucking going around in circles about if he's a nonce or not. Um, that's the first thing on Deco, so we'll wait to see what the outcome is with what he says with the enhanced check or whatever it is he's pulling out. Let's see what's actually on there. Uh, might shut a few people up that. Um... Then secondly, we've got living in London, um, calling Karen G out, going right in on him in lately. To be honest, I like living in London, yeah, he, he makes me laugh and that, but I think since he got chinned, it's gone to his head a little bit, hasn't it? The fame's gone to his head a little bit, mate. <laughs> fucking hell. He's turned into a fucking right idiot. Um, I think someone needs to give him another fucking smack, bring him back down a few levels. Then we've got um, a fight with Decker and Dean. Now, watching a few videos, seeing Dean training and that, looks good, looks fast. My personal opinion on this fight, I think if it was a 10-round fight, Dean wins hands down all day. If it was a 12-round fight, Dean wins hands down all day because he punches him and moves and stays away from him and outboxes him. Because you can tell he, he's got the ability, he's got good footwork he can, and he can punch. But I think... Decker's got that big mong strength, hasn't he? So what I think the problem will be is, because it's fight till the end, as long as they don't shake on it like that, which they're saying they're not, they're saying it's bare knuckle, flat winner, you know what I mean, fighting to the last man standing. If that's the case, i sort of got a fucking... I'm starting to sway towards Decker. I think Dean can outbox him, I think Dean can beat him, but I just think Decker's got that big mong strength, and I think if he's fit, He'll just keep going and keep fucking going, and uh, the, obviously I've not seen. We none of us have seen Dean in a fight, so we don't know how, how big his heart is. If his heart's big enough and he can keep going, I just don't know if he's gonna have the strength and the weight to keep Decker off. Decker, to me, looking at him on videos, Decker looks a lot bigger than him weight wise. I think it's a big fucking man to keep off all them. You know what I mean? If it was if it was ten rounds or he had an end target, what to keep him off till? I think he does it, but because there's no ending. It's a big ask, isn't it, to keep someone that fucking size off you till the end, uh, till you beat them, till they give up. And uh, obviously none of us have seen Decker give up, so will will he give up? So, yeah, that's my take on that fight. Um, keep tuning in, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All them ones who have subscribed, nice one. And everyone who does the nice comments and that, appreciate it, guys.